All right, welcome back everybody. This week, we're gonna look at primers and sealers. We're gonna see which one of these three primers I've got set up today are gonna give us the best seal. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, so today what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at three different products here. We got the Ben primer, which is a favorite of mine and a lot of people. Uh, the Vinyl Sealer by Exalta, which was formerly Valspar, and then the Poly Primer from, uh, I think it's PLC or PCL, one of the two, I'm not sure. Um, what we're doing here is I put a die on here that is known for massive bleed through and then I wrote in Sharpie vinyl sealer versus shellac and then I circled which one is what so that when we put the panels up here you can see. Now the way that the way that I'm testing these is the way I would do if I was in a situation where I was doing a refinish job because that's where a lot of times this stuff this stuff crops up. Um is what I will do is I will put a, a light mist coat on to kind of seal up the surface. I'll let that sit for, uh, you know, five, six, ten minutes and then come back over with a, a wet coat. Now what that does is, is you get a seal coat and then you're not sanding that coat so that you're bringing all this stuff back up to the surface. So what you want to do is do a sealer coat then put another coat on top, then sand. I'm gonna go spray these and then we'll come back and we'll look at the results. All right, so here's the results of each one of them. Now I'm also, I'm gonna do a close up here in a second so you can see it, but I was actually really surprised between the vinyl sealer and the shellac. One of the reasons why I was so surprised is, is everyone talks about the sealing properties of shellac and it's like the best one out there. Um, I don't know. The results kind of telling us something different here. Um, the also what really uh, surprised me on this was that Ben primer is a 51% solid product. This vinyl sealer is only, I think the the it's 18 plus or minus two. So at the most, it's 20% solids. So that's a pretty significant difference. So let me grab this. So here's the shellac. All right, so you can still see that red through and you can still see um, this. Now you would expect this with the shellac because it is a um, alcohol base. So you kind of expect that to um, come through, but you know, just playing around. All right, the vinyl sealer, we have no bleed through whatsoever and you can barely read the Sharpie. The poly primer, nothing, and you have to get the light right to be able to read the Sharpie. There it is a little bit right there if you look at it. So now, I took the CIC Centurion water base finish and shot it over the top of it to see what would happen. Because sometimes when you re-wet a primer, now this is really interesting because these are all, um, I shot them on 11.1 and today's 11.6. So these are five days cured on the uh, sealers. But as you can see the shellac, you can still see the pinkish hue in it. Um, now what's interesting here about the vinyl sealer is it's pretty good. The only issues that I have are there's a little spot where it bled through here and here and then on the tape line where I taped the two. You can't really see the Sharpie anymore. That's gone. And the poly primer, I wasn't thinking and I chopped it up, but there's a couple of places even on it that some of it bled through like on the edge here. Um, all right, so what's my final thoughts on the sealer experiment? Well, I think the poly primer is number one. Although I will give you a caveat with it, it is a two component system and if you're going to put water base over it, um, which I'm going to show you in another video, you've got to get the water base on within a certain window of time or you're going to lose the chemical resistance of the product. Okay, It'll stick fine and it passes a whole bunch of other stuff, but when you put chemicals in it, it'll peel it right off the surface. So that's something to keep in mind, but stay tuned for other videos on that. I think the vinyl sealer is 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 second, and then I think your shellac is third. Um, now I had someone hit me up on Instagram and said, "You're killing me, man." Um, 
Are you saying that the the bin primer is no good? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just showing you that for sealer purposes, if you need to seal something in, um, that your vinyl sealer is going to do a better job than the shellac will. Okay, um, so if you're in refinishing or something like that, you're way better off to use a vinyl sealer than you are shellac. You know, if you're shooting something straight out of the can on raw wood, the shellac will be just fine. Okay. Not a problem. So <clears throat> just keep in mind those things. All I'm doing here is showing you guys what happens. Like if I applied in the field like I would, what's the outcomes, all right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.